getting ready to preach the kingdom of heaven here in Phuket, Thailand, one of the most notorious and infamous wretched hive of scum and villainy. Something like that. Oh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, that whoever believes on him would not perish but have everlasting life. The name of Jesus Christ has power to forgive sin. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Run to Jesus Christ. Flee the wrath to come. What happens in Thailand doesn't stay in Thailand. You can hide your infidelity from your wife. You can hide your sin from your mother and father. But God sees your sin. God sees your sin. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you shall be saved. That's why Jesus was born. The Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Do you know Jesus, sir, was nailed to a cross. They nailed his hands. They nailed his feet. Jesus Christ was crucified. Jesus died, but he came back from the dead. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is the sovereign monarch of the cosmos. Jesus is the king of the king of Thailand. My friends, the Buddha cannot help you. Only Jesus Christ can forgive your sin. Only Jesus Christ has the power to save your soul. The Bible says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? The Bible says, in this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and gave his son, Jesus Christ, to be the propitiation for our sins. My friends, do you love God or do you hate God? Do you mock? Even tonight, I've met many people who hate God. Many people hate God. But God gives you your life, sir. God blessed you with life. God has given you all good things to enjoy. The Bible says, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Do you fear God? You ought to fear God. You're going to die one day, sir. It's a matter of time before you die, my friends. And what happens after you die? Shalom, my friends. Tamino Shayeshua Hu Hamashiach. Hepsiba Hatanak. Hepsiba Habanit Hadasha. Tashuba, Tashuba. Haver, Haver. Yeshua Hamashiach. Mekayam Atanavuot. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Jesus Christ is the anointed of God. The Bible says, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name, the name of Jesus, my friends, shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. That's what Jesus is, sir. Are you right with God? You're going to die one day. You have to die. Everybody has to die. Make your peace with God today. While you have life, while you have hope, while you are in the land of the living, it is appointed unto men once to die. And then the judgment, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. My friends, death is sure and sin is the cause, but Christ is the cure. Tamino Shayeshua, um, Parameshwar Bahut Parashudurhe. Yesu Prabhu Namandi. Yesu Prabhu Andu Viswa Samunchimu. Yesu Prabhu Iloku Manaku Veluguayonaru. Yesu Prabhu Andu Viswa Samunchimu. Tamudu. Parameshwar Bahut Parashudurhe. Hamsa Pate. Isa Masi Komanawu. Isa Masi. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Of whom I'm chief, Paul declared. And I can identify with that. The Bible says God resists the proud. But he gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself. God bless you. Humble yourself. Trust in Jesus, dear ma'am. Dear ma'am, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says... The Bible says that God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, and he will lift you up. Let's move. Let's move. This corner is so much cars. So many cars. Hello, hello. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain. And when Jesus sat down, his disciples came to him. And Jesus opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. My friends, do you mourn for your sin? Do you know, your sin has offended your creator. 
Jesus Christ can give you peace with God, man. Jesus Christ can cover the shame of your nakedness. Jesus Christ can cover the guilt. He can erase the sin debt. Jesus Christ came into the world, the Bible says, to save sinners. The Bible says, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Do you hunger and thirst for Jesus Christ? Do you hunger for the Word of God? The Bible says that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word of God. Jesus Christ came into the world. Jesus, man, trust in Jesus who died and rose from the dead. The Bible says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. But those who love money will not be satisfied with money. My friends, when you die, you can't bring your money with you. When you die and die you shall, your money will perish with you. But put your hope in Jesus. The Bible says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. My friends, do you love God? You know, God gave you your life. God gave you everything you have. You could have been born blind. You could have been born blind. You could have never seen the sunset today at Phuket. Trust in Jesus. Give glory to your God. Give glory not to Buddha. Buddha is dead. He cannot hear you. But Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, my friends, is the only way to God. Jesus said, whoever believes on me shall never perish. My friends, even as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. That's why Jesus was born. Jesus was born to save sinners. My friends, you're all going to die one day. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Don't die without the hope of Christ, sir. Don't die in your sins. The Bible says, if you do not believe that Jesus is He, you shall die in your sins. If you do not believe that Jesus is the Son of God, if you do not believe on Jesus, then you will lose your soul. You must repent or you shall all likewise perish. Unless you repent, you must change your thinking, change your mind. The Bible says, when the Son of Man comes, when Jesus comes, will he find faith on the earth? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Trust in Jesus, folks. Trust in God. The Bible says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. But the Bible also says, there is none righteous, no, not one. And that our heart is deceitful above all things. I like your cross, ma'am. I like that cross. Do you really believe in Jesus? Sir, do you believe in Jesus? You gotta meet him one day. You gotta meet God today. For everything you do in the body, you have to face God for everything you do. What, what happens in Thailand doesn't stay in Thailand. God has a record of your life. God sees your sin. The Bible says, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. But whoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, sir, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. You know, you have to die one day, and then you have to face God, man. You have to face God for your life. The Bible says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. You know why? The Bible says man does not live by bread alone, sir. You know, there was once a man named Nicodemus, and he came to Jesus by night. He was ashamed to be seen with Jesus. Are you ashamed to be associated with Jesus? Are you ashamed to be associated with the Bible? Don't you know the Bible, my friends, is God's Word? Don't you know that God gives you your life and your breath? You could die tonight. You could be hit by a drunk driver. Make your peace with God tonight. The Bible says it is appointed unto men once to die, and then the judgment. Everybody has to die one day. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says. Trust in Jesus, ma'am. Jesus who died and rose again. The Bible says blessed are those Blessed are the pure in heart. Are you pure in heart? Uh, the Bible says the heart of man, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. 
My friends, your heart cannot save you. Do not trust in your own heart. The Bible says, whoever trusts in his own heart is a fool. If you trust in yourself, you're a fool. If you do not fear God, you don't even have the beginning of wisdom. But if you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, you shall be saved. Christ came into the world. Jesus, dear ma'am, Jesus, dear friends, came into the world to save sinners. And what's a sinner? What's a sinner? Can anybody tell me what a sinner is? The Bible says we've all sinned. I'm not here to preach myself, sir. I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord, and we are His servant, your servants for Jesus' sake. My friends, the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Do you fear God? What about the things you plan on doing tonight? What about your plans for tonight? God sees your plans for tonight. God knows what you plan on doing tonight. And what's in Thailand doesn't stay in Thailand. God sees your sins, friends. God knows about your double life. You can hide your sin from your mother. You can hide your sin from your wife. But God sees your sin. God sees your sin. The Bi Amen, brother. The Bible says, whoever conceals his sin will not prosper. But whoever confesses and forsakes his sin shall find mercy. Confess your sin to Jesus. God bless you, sir. You're welcome. Jesus, trust in Jesus, sir. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just. Jesus, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive our sins. There is forgiveness with him. There is forgiveness in the name of Jesus that he may be feared. Do you reverence God? Do you, my friends, fear God? Yesu Prabhu Namandi. Yesu Prabhu Andu Viswasamuntimu. Anna. Yesu Prabhu Iloku Manaku Velagoya Naru. Nenu Papini Na Patla Daya Chupinchu. Ani Yesu Prabhuku Pradjandi. God be merciful to me, a sinner. One man cried out. All right, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Come on. All right, 15 more minutes. <laughs> Have a good night. Cub Kun Cub. Hallelujah. Hua. Oh, this is a great this is a great place right here that you must be born again if you would enter the kingdom of God. Are you Christians today? Do you fear God? You know, the Bible is God's word. I would ask you please to read the Bible. The Bible, my friends, is breathed out by God. The Bible is God's word. The Bible teaches us that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the Lamb of God who was slain to save sinners. My friends, every one of us must die one day, and then we have to face the judgment. The Bible says it is appointed unto men once to die, and then the judgment. And judgment must begin at the household of God. Some of you think that God approves of your life, that God accepts you as you are. No, God does not love you as you are. The Bible says unless you repent, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. That is God's word. That is not my opinion, my friends. God gives you health. God gives you food. God gives you life and breath. Why? So that you would serve him, your creator. God created you for his glory. And you've sinned. We've all sinned against him. But he also sent Jesus Christ. Oh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, that whoever believes on him would not perish but have everlasting life. 
The name of Jesus Christ has power to forgive sin. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Run to Jesus Christ. Flee the wrath to come. What happens in Thailand doesn't stay in Thailand. You can hide your infidelity from your wife. You can hide your sin from your mother and father. But God sees your sin. God sees your sin. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you shall be saved. That's why Jesus was born. The Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Do you know Jesus, sir, was nailed to a cross. They nailed his hands. They nailed his feet. Jesus Christ was crucified. Jesus died, but he came back from the dead. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is the sovereign monarch of the cosmos. Jesus is the king of the king of Thailand. My friends, the Buddha cannot help you. Only Jesus Christ can forgive your sin. Only Jesus Christ has the power to save your soul. The Bible says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Ma'am, you got to die one day, ma'am. You got to face God with that rebellious attitude. You have to face God with your sin. The Bible says the fool, sir, ma'am, the fool, the fool says in his heart there is no God. Are you a fool tonight? Do you fear God? You know, young man, God gives you everything you have, man. God gives you your money to buy this street food, right? God gives you everything you have. Give glory to God today by believing on Jesus Christ who died and rose again to save sinners. The Bible says there is no other name, not the Buddha, not Muhammad, not the Hindu deities, only Jesus Christ, only the name of Jesus Christ has the power to forgive sin. God bless you. Kab kun krab. Kab kun krab. This is Bible. You understand English? Bible is God's word. The Bible is God's word. I challenge you to read the Bible. My friends, man does not live by bread alone. Man lives by every word of God. Your life depends upon God's decree. You're going to die. Everyone must return to the dust, for from the dust you came, and unto the dust you shall return. But the Bible says, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Sir, do you fear God? If you don't fear God, you don't even have the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is knowledge, and to depart from evil is understanding. Proverbs 1, 7, Job 28, 28. Have you ever read the Bible? My friends, the Bible was inspired by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that God breathed into Adam, into man, and he became a living soul. Your life is in the hand of God. You could die tonight, God forbid. You could be hit by a drunk driver. Do you know how you're going to die? Do you know when you're going to die? Nobody knows. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you shall be saved. There is mercy in the name of Jesus, Habibi. Isa Masih kum al-Hawr. Assalamu alaikum, man. Shukran, Habibi. Look to Jesus, the Injil, the Injil, the Torah. Isa Masih kum al-Hawr. Par meshwa bahut par shudur hai. Baya. Baya hamsa paap hai. Hamsa paap hai. Isa Masih kum al-Hawr. Isa Masih kum al-Hawr. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Jesus Christ is full of mercy. Jesus says, Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. There is rest in the name of Jesus Christ. For Jesus took the burden of sin upon his own body on the cross. You know, Jesus, my friends, Jesus was nailed. He was crucified. The blood of the Son of God flowed out. The blood of Jesus flowed down. Why? The Bible says that God demonstrated his love for us who believe in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The Bible says, 
There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For whoever fears has not been perfected in love. We love, fear has to do with punishment. Every one of us must die, my friends, but the Lord Jesus Christ died to save sinners. My friends, there is no other name, not the Buddha, not Muhammad, not the Hindu deities, only Jesus Christ has the power to forgive sin. Only the blood of the Lamb of God. John the Baptist thundered out, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Now you can hide your sin from your wife. You can hide your sin from the police. You can hide your sin from your mother and father. But God sees your sin. God sees your sin. The Bible says that men hate the light and will not come to the light. Are you a child of the night? Are you a child of the darkness? Or are you a child of the day? Are you a child of the light? Jesus said, I am the light of this world. Jesus said, I am the bread from heaven. I am the true bread, the true vine. I am the way, the truth, Jesus said, and the life. My friends, if you don't know Jesus, you have no hope. If you don't know Jesus, you have no truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible declares there is a way, friend. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end is the way of death. Broad, wide, wide is the road that leads to destruction, my friend. And narrow, narrow is the way that leads to life. And few are those who find it. Jesus said, I am the door. My friends, there's only one access to God, only one way to God, sir, through Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Are you one of the sheep of God? Are you one of his disciples? Do you follow the lamb wherever he goes? Do you follow his spirit? My friends, do you love God today? Do you love the word of God? The Bible says man does not live by bread alone, but by every word of God, every word of God was breathed out by the Holy Spirit. God gives you your life. God gives you your food and your water every day. Fear God and give him glory. The Bible says to fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. Do you fear God? If you don't fear God, you don't even have the beginning of wisdom. My dear friend, sir, trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. What about your sin, ma'am? Dear ma'am, dear sir, what about your sin? God sees your sin, man. God bless you. I'm glad you're happy, man. Glad you're happy. Give glory to God. Don't be drunk with wine and spirits, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine where it is debauchery, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Are you filled with God's Spirit? Do you love God today? The Bible says we, we love only because He first loved us. In this is love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and gave His Son as a propitiation for our sins. What does that mean? Jesus Christ, sir, Jesus died on a cross and spilled His blood, the blood of the Lamb of God. Oh, the spotless Lamb, the sinless sacrifice. The Bible says in Hebrews 4, 16, or 15, I believe, Jesus was tempted, sir. Jesus was tempted. Kap kun krub. Kap kun krub. Jesus, my friends, the Bible says, was tempted in every point like we are, yet without sin. You know, Jesus was tempted with the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And Jesus did not yield even for a moment, even for a nanosecond, to the tempter. The Bible says, do not love the world or the things that are in the world. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, they are not of the Father, but they are of this world. And this world passes away, and the lust thereof. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Kab kun ka. God bless you, dear ma'am. The Bible says, unless you repent, you shall uh, likewise perish. You know, God gives you your money. God gives you your food and your drink. Give glory to God. The Bible says, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to thy navel, marrow to thy bones. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. 
God bless you, sir, but be not wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and depart from evil. It'll be health to thy navel, marrow to thy bones. So shall thou find favor with God and man. Oh, my friends, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve Jesus Christ. Why Jesus served us first. The Bible says in Matthew 20, verse 28, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Do you know that's why Jesus was born? Jesus was born to serve his life as an offering for sin. Jesus, my friend, don't run from God. Don't run from God anymore. Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden. He who loves money will not be satisfied with money. But blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. My friends, trying to find happiness with more money is like trying to drink salt water to quench your thirst. You need peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ today. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you shall be saved. Praise the Lord.